can it's showing up that I'm picking it up, but I can't hear myself back. That's weird. Why can't I hear myself back? My headphones are plugged in. Is it because I'm is it because I'm streaming? Is that why it won't uh is there any type of sound that I can play? Uh, I'm just... My volume is all the way up. What if I... No. Is it because I'm streaming? Is that why I can't hear anything? Because that would be silly if that was the reason. I feel like I should be able to hear stuff even if I'm streaming. Because how am I supposed to play games and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used this program in forever, so I have no idea how it all works. Can I go to my soundboard? Um, let's see. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Let me look it up. see I might have there might have been something that got swapped wait it says headphone okay wait oh now I can hear okay now I can hear things so all right I think we're fine I don't know. I can let me check. Okay. Hopefully, see, I th the problem was last time with. Um, the problem last time was that I, first of all, my audio was working fine, and I was able to hear in both ears. But after I turned off my mic and went to go grab my ring light, it uh. It thought I was, it basically reset my headphones and then it was only streaming to one ear. So I was like, this is dumb because every time I turn off my, every time I mute myself, I'm going to have to do an audio check to make sure that everything is working fine. So I was just like, what if I just switch to a different streamware? And now here I am with a different stream, a different uh, with Streamlabs, so I'm hoping that this time if I mute myself, everything will be fine and we won't have any issues with the whole wrong ear thing. So, yeah. Um, that's my hope and prayer, but it might take some adjusting to get used to, so, yeah. Um, 
I still haven't figured out alerts yet, so I, but I'll figure that out later. Um, but we were gonna go ahead and do the simulation room. Oh, crap. Why do I keep moving it? Keep moving it. Why does it have any, why does it even give me the option to change stuff while I'm recording? That shouldn't even be. Can I, can I just turn it off? Like. Okay, I think I said it. All right. Let's see. I think that should be fine. It looks like it's picking up the audio fine. What is up with the... Uh... Okay. We got some more chips from the Union Raid, which is good. Um, let's see, we can collect here. And I'm gonna save up again. That's what I usually do with the social point recruit, is I just save up. Instead of- unless I'm like really, really impatient, then I'll just go in ahead and recruit one, but usually I just- usually I just wait until I get a hundred and then I recruit ten, because I figure why not. But, yeah, um, yesterday we did the simulation room, we did we did t Tribe Tower, we did a little bit of the story, we did some Nikkei, uh, st Nikkei uh, shortcuts, short, short term, or shortcut, simple cuts of daily life on the, on the, in the, in the outpost. So yeah, that was pretty cool, and have I showed you guys my Pink Carrot Squad yet? This is my pink haired squad. My only problem is that I need Alice on here. And I don't have her, and I'm gonna swap her out with Pepper. And, or maybe Coco. I don't know. Um, I don't really like Pepper. I don't like the way Pepper looks very much, so maybe Pepper. But, yeah. So, I'm just gonna swap her out, and then Coco, Query, Dorothy, Quincy for my others. So that way I have one shooter one one two one two and then two threes and then yeah and then we'll have a full pink hair team which i am not crazy about making sure it's like 100 percent perfect but yeah i wish there was more slots up here so i could make more teams which would be nice, but, um, yeah, I just have, like, my water team, my wind team, and my electric team, which isn't too crazy, you know, it's alright, um, I could, I do need noise, uh, for this team, because I want to swap her out for Exia or Rosanna, probably Exia, if I, well, Exia does pretty well in the shooting range, but, I don't know, she's better than both of them so i could show any type of improvement would help but yeah let's see um who am i missing from Signal. I want Helm Aquamarine. She literally has clothes that can reheat themselves. How cool is that? And she's a and she's a s assault rifle. 
Look at how cool she looks. She looks so cool. But I don't know how to get her. Uni, Guilty, Sugar, Alice, Mary, Ray, Noise, Mary Bay Goddess, and a Sparkling Summer, Moron. Moron is not even available yet, and they still have her in the Nicopedia. Mika, Leona, Moron. Scarlet Black Shadow, Power 2B to A2. I think they updated this because I don't remember there being these little locks here. I think that means that it's not available anymore. Or it's, I, maybe it means I don't have it yet. I think it just means that I don't have it yet. I was around here when School of, School of Rock was here and I didn't get Ray. But she's so cute. She's a sub. She, she's not. She's so tiny. She doesn't even crouch. She just stands up. Look at her little penguin that helps her reload. She's small as hell. She's, she's tiny, small, she's small, Ray. My God. I don't even know how you get Helm Aquamarine. How do you get Helm Aquamarine? Do you have to, does it just come out during an event? I have no idea. I'll just have to see if she comes back again. What can I do with this skin? I can change her armor. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can get through the simulation room. Yeah, this team was pre-picked, I think, or this team was something. It was, I didn't, I didn't pick it, I know that for sure. It just was there. So yeah, it's it's a good team though. I mean, all of them are burst, burst and above, full burst and or above. I mean, pretty strong team, I would say. Not that bad, but Privity used to be on my team, but then I got rid of her because I found other people that were better than her. So yeah, that's why I swapped her out, but she's good. I have her outfit and I would like to get the privacy made for you, uh, Nikkei, uh, when it comes out, but I don't know how that's going to work out. It's probably going to be a roll, like a roll to win sort of thing, but Sugar's outfit is going to be released with a pass and then privacy, I think it's like it's something like Sundere, like, you know, like like something kind of sassy like the what is the word I'm looking for I don't know, um, something like, uh, bittersweet maid privity, something like that. I don't know. I forgot what it's called, but it's like something like that, like where she's like, she kind of hates it, but she kind of likes it at the same time because she's a maid and you know, maids are nice because they, they like their jobs generally and they, 
very sweet and kind and very caring and very productive and you know made for you made for you made for you meet the maid especially for you oh yeah and i heard that one of the one of the maids in the original story is getting released as well as a playable character um i think her name was aid like a d e um and she was gonna be become a playable character um, I don't remember what she was. I think she was a shotgun, I think. But she was a. She was going to be released as a playable Nikkei coming up soon, as per the Valentine's Day update. So yeah, I, that's what I that's what I saw at least. But I'm not a hundred percent certain if that's true. Um, I was. I mean, I've already seen her her like tag saying like you know her backstory and it's just like you know she's a very nice clean proper maid who likes her job and is very sweet and kind and that sort of thing and I think she said she was from Tetra um so yeah oops I accidentally hit battle instead of quick battle so now I'm gonna have to do this battle but that's that's fine oh yeah that's right I wanted to do this I got this today I got well I got it yesterday technically but it's here break time collection volume 2 and it's your boy what's his name I don't from Tokyo Revengers What's his name? I forgot his name. I have to look it up now. Uh, Ken Ryuji. Ken Ryuji. This is Ken Ryuji. So, shall we open it and see what he looks like? I this is this is my favorite guy from the show. That's why I bought him. And listen, I'm not I'm not saying that my type is bad boys, but I kind of like a lot of bad boy characters. I mean, he was just. He was just cool in my opinion. I thought he was really cool and I was like, you know, what if I got a figurine of him? Because I saw it, I was figurine shopping and then I found, I ran into this one and I was like, you know, I could, I could maybe splurge some money for this one and see how he looks. But it's like him standing, him sitting on a, the, on a, sidewalk and I just thought boy this is so cool he's so cool oh my god <laughs> he's so cute but he would totally destroy me that's the thing he would not hesitate in ruining my life but you know it's in a fantasy, it's in my imagination. So, everything turns out fine, you know? I was like saying it'd be funny like yesterday I was saying to myself wouldn't it be funny if I opened this and then it was like all broken and stuff and I was on stream and people were just like why is it all broken and I'm like <laughs> I don't know it just came that way and I'm like sitting here with this thing and I'm like what the hell happened 
But it's all taped up, so I am assume it's in good condition. I'm just taking the tape off right now to try to see if I can open it. But I'm doing it very carefully because I don't want to... I want to destroy the box as least as possible. Let's see here. Um, I want to try to keep this moving as best as I can. Can I just like... There's some tape here that's really getting in my way. If you guys haven't seen Tokyo Revengers, I recommend it. It's a good anime, but it's very violent. It's not for... Look at how beautifully crafted he is. Does he just sit on this? There's no, there's no, like... Oh, he just sits on it. He, there's no, like, bottom to, like, put in a hole. You just set him on it. There we go. I have to balance him on it. kind of hard to show because I have to like turn it this way well when it's sitting on the shelf it won't be it won't be moving around like I'm moving it so it's different but it would be nice if it would have had like a proper way for him to sit instead of having to balance him until I get it right I don't get it why some anime figures come with stands and why some don't. Like, if you're making an anime figure, the thing you should be making is should always have a stand. Like, something that it can, like, stand on or something that... Because, like, if you make it just... Unless the feet are, like, par parallel to the ground or, like, they're, you know, standing upright or something like that, then you should have a stand for it. Otherwise, it's just pointless. Like, it just will fall over and it won't stand there. And the thing is, you want it to stand upright so that way it looks nice. But this one is just... It's just him just sitting on it, which is fine. I can just put it on my shelf. I think it'll fit on the bottom shelf, luckily. Um, I think it'll fit on the bottom... On the bottom shelf, luckily, but kind of sucks that I have to balance them out every time. There's like a position where if you kind of get it to sit at that point, he'll just kind of chill there, but other than that, it's kind of like 
hope from hoping for the best and just uh, let's just dispel one random buff. Crap, that was a good one. Let's see, this is the last of room 2C, so you know we'll be uh we'll be done with this uh, this room and then we'll move on to the next one. So yeah. But yeah, Ken Ryuji, I, from what I remember from him, he was Mikey's sidekick, but he was so cool in Tokyo Revengers, I loved him a lot, and he was, he wasn't sweet, but he had morals, like he wasn't like, you know, I wouldn't strike at a girl or something like that, he's like, you know, respectable, like he, he worked hard to be where he's at, and like, deserves respect I think you know he went through a lot of shit like well, I think I saw like he literally got hit in the head with a pole a pole and he managed to fight off like a whole squad of guys all by himself and that's like a lot like imagine getting hit in the head with a fucking pole and you're like bleeding out and your head is like you have dead like definitely have a concussion and there's like a whole group of guys going after you like I wouldn't be able to do it I would be like down and out for the count but you know sometimes in these situations you have to forge forward otherwise you get left behind also litter is almost full like a full full max burst i think it's like one more and then i have her at seven and seven is the max she can go when she does get to seven though i'm gonna take her off my wish list because there's literally no point in getting litter anymore because i have her i don't even know what happens i think i just get i just get a uh, spare body parts. I just get spare body part points or whatever they're called. The the silver stuff, the silver tokens that you collect whenever you get dupes of something. Um, usually if you, when you get dupes of an SSR it's it's not, a, you don't get the, the, t the tokens because you can use it to upgrade your Nikkei. But if it's already max burst and then you get her again, then it's different because then that way you can, then that way you will get the points so that way you can use that towards buying a, buying a, okay that was better than, um, you can get the high quality molds and then that will help out with getting it getting something that you want hopefully getting something that you'd like to have rather than just the same fucking thing over and over but yeah But I really want- I got- some people got like Red Hood like full, like all the way to seven. Seven dupes. Or what is it? The first one? The second for the first star? The third for the second star? Fourth for the third star? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's eleven, I think. Eleven times you rolled this character, so you had to get Red Hood seven times in order to get her special her special animation when you put her as your profile picture with the little sparkling gleam on it. You have to get her like seven times. I think it's like you have to do it seven times in order to in order to in order to get her special animation in the game and I'm like how do you roll Red Hood seven times like you're crazy you're insane how do you how does one do that please I please I'm curious I rolled as much as I could during that time and I did I only got Red Hood once I bought the other Red Hood star because I had enough mileage tickets 
that's how I got her second star, her first star. I got it because I, because I paid for it with mileage tickets. But yeah, I don't know. It's just beyond, beyond me how people are that lucky. Either they have too much money or they got too much luck. There's a guy in my raid who just gets so insanely lucky and he's just like, I have insane luck and I'm like, you have Red Hood, like, full max burst, and you have, like, all of these, all of these pilgrims full max burst. But he's been playing a really long time. Like, he's level, like, 328. Like, he's insane. He's played so much Nike. But even I'm, even with me playing as much as I am, I still haven't, I still have only gotten so far. Like, I'm... I'm at a stopping point right now because I don't have enough core dust to level my characters up again at the at the synchro machine. So I'm just I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids, and um and I'm waiting till I get enough core dust so I can so I can finally level up again, which would be nice. Um, but it's probably gonna take friggin' forever because now that all the saved, all my saved up core dust has been gone, I don't have any options besides just build it up again and then use it all and then build it up again and then use it all. Which is just silly. Um, I mean, it's the only logical thing to do, but I could save up core dust and then just not level them up, which I don't see any point to doing that, besides just if I want to level all them up at the same time, many times in a row I could, but, like, for example, like, if I'm rolling for, like, or if I get ordinary Nike passes or recruit, recruit vouchers, then I just use them right away, even if I don't have 10 of them, I just use them anyways, because I'm like, well, there's nothing like, well, if you get an advanced recruit voucher, then like there's a chance that there's different stuff that's gonna come up so you want to like hold on to it just in case so that way when you do when something does come up you can roll for it but when you're but when you have right ordinary recruit vouchers there's nothing different about it it's just the same chances you would get if you just rolled with a regular if you rolled with 300 gems or whatever so it's not like it's any different so yeah that's why i just roll with it anyways even if i don't have all 10 because i don't I don't have that kind of patience, I'm just like, if I have the chance to roll, I'm just gonna roll. But, that's, but I still have the ability to wait, like I do with the, the social point recruit, where I just, I just exchange friend points with everybody in my, in my, in my union, and then I just, and then when I got 10, I just pull for 10, and then hope and pray that I get an SSR. I got a really good roll a couple, a while ago, where I got Dala, and... I got Dala and somebody else, but I got two SSRs from that 10 pull, and it was a pretty good roll for a, because the social point recruit, it's about a 2% chance of getting an SSR, so it's very, it's very, very low chances of getting an SSR, but I got lucky, I got lucky that time with my roll. And I got lucky as well when I was pulling for Black Shadow Scarlet. I happened to pull regular Scarlet instead of Black Shadow Scarlet. And I thought for some reason that it that sh Scarlet roll chances were increased, but it turns out nope. I just got really lucky that you you can't you her chan me ch my chances of getting Scarlet were just as likely as if I did an ordinary recruit. And I just got really lucky and happened to get Scarlet on Black Shadow Scarlet. So yeah, it was just crazy. I was like, I was happy, but I was also like, dang it, it's not what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted Black Shadow Scarlet, but I couldn't get, I never got her, and then I ended up using all my passes towards getting Modernia. And then I finally did, and I'm really happy that I did because she's so good and she's really powerful. But I don't know how good Black Shadow Scarlet is. I heard she's pretty good up there, but she's a wind, a wind, 
um, Nikkei, so I was like, you know, the more wind, the better, like, I thought that the wind, more wind would be helpful in the long run. Because there's usually not that many wind characters that I know of. So, yeah, I was, like, pretty happy about that when I heard she was a wind character. But, yeah, I don't know, I guess people are just telling me that I should just try for Modernia because she's just so good and the chances of picking her up were like 1% out of 4 or something like that and I happened to get lucky and I pulled her and I was so happy when I did um, and then I got and then I used my used my uh, recruit vouchers in order to buy or my, or my mileage to buy and her extra star because I was debating, I was like, should I buy Black Shadow Scarlet or should I buy Modernia? And everyone's like, buy Modernia, buy Modernia, and I'm like, okay, I'll buy Modernia. And that's when I was like, cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Modernia. And so yeah, um, that was my my process going in my head because I was like you know Black Shadow Scarlet might be better than Modernia so maybe I should just get her instead it's a guaranteed chance that I'll get her if I buy her right now in the store but they were saying that Modernia is better and she's really good like she's the she easily she's not even fully like close to being fully the strongest at her strongest ability but she does so much she does the most damage on my fire team and, like, on my fire team is Sakura, Soda, Nero, Modernia, Red Hood. And Red Hood doesn't even compare, doesn't even do as much damage. She's, like, second place. But Modernia is always first. So she's just always, uh, she's just always ahead in attacks because she just does stupid amount of damage. And she just always is a winner. She's a winner, bing, 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 winner. Oh! She's always a winner. She's always a winner. But yeah. I don't, what's my, what, um, Ken, what's up, Ken? Man, he got he has a tattoo on the side of his head. Imagine getting the side of your head tattooed. I just can't imagine how painful it would be. Cuz you see, he has the side of his head tattooed. Right here. There's a dragon tattoo. And it just looks like it'd be so painful. So pretty. You're so pretty. Okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> that was just me. Um, it, uh, having fun times. Um, yeah, I didn't have any dream- oh, last night was rough for me. I couldn't- I didn't go to bed until like 2 a.m. and then I woke up at like- I was like, you know what, I have to wake up at like 10 today, otherwise it's gonna suck tomorrow night. If I sleep in, then it's just gonna be- it's just gonna be bad when I- when I go back to bed tonight and I'm just like- and I'm just like trying to sleep, but I can't because I slept in. That's my biggest mistake is when, when, when I was younger, I'd get up and I'd be like so exhausted because I didn't sleep the whole night. And then I'd go to sleep and then I'd wake up and I'd go to school. But I, my mistake was that I, I never, I should have been going to school even if I didn't go, I shouldn't have been sleeping in because then that way I was making a pattern of like, you know, don't go to sleep the whole night sleep in the morning when I'm supposed to be at school and then Go to school and then come home don't sleep for the rest of the night and then the pattern continues But if I had not slept that night and then gone to school that day Then when I went to bed I for sure would have been tired and then I would have gone to sleep But it was complicated. It was a big 
mess and my mom was just doing the best to look out for me and I didn't know any better I didn't know I didn't know how things worked and how the sleep schedule worked but now I do and I'm like I can't sleep in otherwise and I was there was a lot of things bothering me like I was hungry and I had to go to the bathroom and stuff like that so after that you just can't you know those things like they wake you up and then you're like oh no I'm awake and I can't go back to sleep because I'm not comfortable enough like after you leave your bed for to get up to go do something when you crawl back into bed it's not the same it's just not the same as it was the first time and it sucks because you can't just crawl back into bed and be like hmm I'm just gonna go back to sleep for a little while you, you can just lay there and be like man this is fine but it, it, it isn't the same it just isn't the same and it sucks so yeah I was very curious I was very trying to be very uh, very careful when I woke up this morning I made sure to take my meds and make sure that I uh, did everything that I needed to do I had breakfast and it was good Oh, I accidentally clicked on a red one, which means we have to do this fight now. And I was happy about that, and I got my tea, and I was just chugging it down because I realized that 1.30 in the microwave is not enough. I need to put it in for two minutes if I want long-lasting hot tea. Otherwise, it just cools down too fast, and then I can't... And then I don't get hot tea anymore. And I'm like, I don't want to put it back in the microwave because then I have to take out a plate and put it, the tea bag on it. I don't want to set the tea bag on the counter because then what if stuff gets on it and then it gets dirty and I don't want to keep wasting plates by putting my tea bag on it. I don't why don't I just put it on like a napkin or something? Duh, that'd be easier. I don't know. But that was my logic. I was just like, I'm gonna take a plate out and I'm gonna put my tea bag on it and then because I can't put the tea bag in the microwave, otherwise it would explode or it would cause light spark sparks and stuff like that so I was like whatever I'm gonna take it out but I just chugged it down and then I went to the bathroom because I was like oh boy I just chugged this tea and now I'm feeling kind of uh and I have to go to the bathroom so yeah I have to always close my door whenever I get done with the bathroom because otherwise my dog Luna or our dog Luna will come and she'll lick out of the toilet <laughs> the toilet water and um, she'll do it with my mom like she'll follow my mom into the, her bathroom and then after she's done she'll try to lick the toilet water and it's just so gross but my mom has this thing she figured out a pattern on how to not get her to do that so yeah it's just gross um, our previous dog wasn't big enough so she couldn't or he couldn't do that but she can and now we have to be careful otherwise she'll start licking the toilet water and I'm like that's disgusting Luna stop but she's like nah fam I want that toilet water regular water no thanks I want toilet water with your pee in it and I'm like that's disgusting she's like I don't give a fuck so yeah I don't know it's just like some something with her that she's like I need to do this it's for the greater good and I'm like fam nah but I I, uh, I set up my I don't have a VTuber head like thing set up yet but, but I do have my model on a regular background that I could show you guys and we could chat there for a bit because we're just about to complete this simulation room. And I don't think there's anything more I can do. I already took on the tribe tower. I already did. I think I've already exhausted all the things I can do, except for if I did overclock, but I don't know if it's reset yet since it's not the reset time yet. It's not until two and it's only 11.54 AM. So I still have plenty of time before the reset. So yeah, and that could give me a chance to go put this figurine up on my shelf. I could also try to play some FNAF 4. 
see if I can beat night two. Beat fucking night two. Which I haven't been able to beat yet because this cheeky guy keeps killing me! Uh, I could try to do that. Give it a shot, give it a whirl, see if I can... See if I can beat it, that would be cool. I think I have enough time to do this. I think I, sh I should be able to do this without Snow White. There we go. Done and done. Alright, that was my final reward. Can I upgrade my Nikkei's at all with anything? Or are they still... Are they still too... Is it still not enough? I want to upgrade Modernia. No, it's still not enough. Gosh, I need so many. I need so many skill manuals. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch here. Anyways, uh, here's here's my VTuber model. Um, as you can see, I don't have her set up yet, so she just is looking pretty at you right now. But yeah, one sec. All right, I'm back. Um, hello, uh, I'm good, how are you? Uh, I don't know why, is chat not showing up? Is, am I having issues with the chat? I don't know, maybe I can fix it? I hope you are doing well. See, that's right. There we go. That should be right. Anyways, um, let's see. It doesn't show me how this alert thing works, so I don't know. Oh, it, I see, it kind of shows me, but yeah, um, thank you for joining me, Mariana James 2343 I hope you're having a good time, and, uh, we're just gonna chat for a bit, and, uh, yeah, I wonder if I can change my... Maybe should I, am I gonna try FNAF? I, 
I could try it for now. Oh god. I could try for now and see if I can get a little bit farther than I did before. But I was stuck on stuck on fucking Chica. Why is there nothing being captured? All right, let's see if I can do this. All right, button, fingers on the control and enter and be fucking ready for Chica because she's gonna be relentless. Okay. First night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll just... <laughs> ah, I heard it! I heard it! Oh, I was just about- I just was about to press- I pressed flashlight instead of the door, and then... Fuck! Chica, you're relentless! You're baddie. I can't fucking beat you. But my finger, my finger was on the trigger. My finger was ready to go. But I heard it. I heard her breathing. It just. It's just as soon as she gets there, it's so fast. But she was early that night. She was really. She was really fast. Church bells are ringing. Is she in the kitchen? Oh, I heard that sounded like a breath, but it wasn't. It sounded like breathing. No. Go away. I think she's in the kitchen. Radio is going off, wherever it is. I get so close in these nights and then I lose. I think I might just do one round of this. Maybe this will be the one. in the kitchen, I think. Bonnie has not been very active this night. Chica's barely showing her face. Oh, there you are. Oh. 
She's there. She's hiding. She's playing hide and seek. Oh, go away. I thought I heard breathing, but I'm fine. Chica's probably gonna come soon. Okay. Please, I'm so close. Oh my god, I did it. Chica was nice to me that time. She was really nice to me. Oh, I can't believe I did it. Oh my god. I think I just got lucky. I think it was just pure luck. Three days until the party. He left without you. He knows that you hate it here. You are right beside the exit. If you run, you can make it. You hurry, run towards the exit. No, don't you remember what you saw? The exit is the other way. Hurry and leave. It's too late. Hurry out the other way and find someone who will help. You know what will happen if he catches you. You have to help. You, you can find help if you get past them. You have to be strong. Oh. Tomorrow is another day. Fun with plush trap. Oh god. Use X. Use flashlight to stop plush trap on the X. Same thing. Well, at least it doesn't jump scare me. That's nice. Uh, night three. I mean, I can try. I can try. 
I can give it a whirl. Nada. Go away. I don't think Manko comes in this night. If I remember correctly. something on the right. No, it's on the left. No. late. She can know. She can know. Oh, there are flowers. There's flowers. Ugh. That scared me. I didn't know what it was. You guys saw the flowers, didn't you? Skedaddle. Skedaddle! No. Go away. Some noise just happened and it made me debate if I heard something or not. <laughs> ah! uh, I heard stepping, but I didn't I couldn't hear the breathing. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Let's see, I'm gonna I'm just happy that I got done with that night. I'm just happy that I got done with night two, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, I'm just happy about that. I'm jolly, having a jolly old time that I made it past night two, and I'm on night three. So, but Chica's is gonna be a problem because I don't know how to beat her. I mean, I know how to beat her, but I don't know how to like win is the question. I don't know how to win. So like, yeah, I don't know. It's just rough. I mean, I might... There's nothing I can do besides just practice and practice and practice and hope that I get better. But, yeah, it's just up in the air whether or not I can do this. It'll probably take some time and patience for me to... for me to do this, but I'm sure I can. I just need the proper... Just need the proper. Proper time and patience in order to finish it. It's possible, but you know, it's. It's hard. 
it's it's hard. So yeah. Um, what else is going on here? Um, let's see what's going on on YouTube. I have to go to the gym today and I have to go take out the dog and I've been about two hours. But yeah, I um a lot of people are playing Lethal Company, but I don't have Lethal Company and I don't know if I'm gonna get it because I don't have anybody to play with. So I'm like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. But um, I got this book recently, but I'm actually not going to read it because I saw the trigger warnings on here and I'm just like, it's too much. I forgot to read the trigger warnings before I bought it and now I'm like, I can't, I can't read it. It's too much. Like there's, it's got many trigger warnings in here that are very much what I'm against and even if I, even reading, I feel like I'd be sick. Like one time I was reading and I think I got sick to my stomach because of what I was reading and then it kind of went away. So I was like, it's fine, but this book is like intense, bro. Like you really need to like get your stuff sorted out if you're gonna, if you're gonna read this book. I found it online and it looked good, but just with the trigger warnings, I'm just like, I can't, it's just not, I'm, it's just not for me. I'm not ready for that sort of thing. So, yeah. But there's this other one called Mr. Dark that I've been reading as well. And it's been pretty good so far. But in the book, he's like, you know, Mark is like, I'm a freelancer, but I I also do bad things like commit crimes and kill people and stuff. And it just and she's like he comes to her and he's like I'm going to confess everything to you. Just come with just meet me at your place and you know, I'll tell you everything. I only need 30 minutes. And she gets there and then two guys burst in with guns and then they are about to shoot but Mark takes them down. And she's like, what the fuck? Who are you? And then he goes on to explain, like, everything. And I was part of, like, this big thing where all these people are, like, against him. And there are, like, companies that hate him. And, like, people that want him dead. And, like, all these other things. Because he committed all these crimes. And, like, he said he never spilled innocent blood. But he did cause some pain to a teacher a doctor that was harassing Sophie, Sophia at her job at the ER and they gave, he gave him a black eye and he didn't do any, he wasn't acting bad no more towards her. He was like literally screaming at her and she was like just taking it because she didn't want to lose her job and she had to deal with him all the time. But then Mark was there and he saw it and then he pulled the fire alarm and then secretly he pulled the fire alarm and then obviously they stopped talking because there's a fire and then later on he went in and did the dirty work while we couldn't see or hear or whatever because he came with a black eye and I'm like bet you Mark did that and then he's like they he's like they're all like gossiping about it and they're like yeah apparently he won't tell anybody what happened to him and he says he just ran into the door frame and I'm and they're like, yeah, he cracked like his, he like cracked his orbital bone or whatever. And they're like, oh wow, really? And he's like, yeah, um, he's been acting super nice to everybody lately. Like he's been super nice to everybody and he's been not being snotty and annoying and stingy and arrogant. He's just been acting all humble and stuff ever since this happened to him. And everybody thinks that he just ran into the door like on accident but they said he must have been running at full sprint because it that's how bad it hurt him 
and he was just I knew Mark was behind it I knew Mark had something to do with it because as soon as Mark saw that he was doing his shit against Sophia I was like that he's like that's not cutting it we're we gotta we gotta show this man some respect in this house like this man thinks he's better than everybody else and clearly that's not true but yeah um and then after Sophia hears all this and she's like I don't know if she knows well she did figure out about the fire alarm thing and she was like you sneaky bastard and then he was like "Eh, uh, yeah you know just doing my thing and then he tells her everything about his whole like that's like the confederation and like these it's like the place that Sophia works at the she works at a ER she works at the ER and she works at a pub a tavern or whatever and she she um and apparently that tavern is owned by like rival company to like her and like these really bad people who want Mark like dead or whatever and now they want to like get Sophia in order to like use her as leverage to like get him to do whatever they tell him to so he comes in to tell her all the truth and tell her everything that's going on but then she just packs up all her stuff and she's just like all right where are we going and then I'm like girl you're throwing your whole I mean I don't know what I would do if I was in that situation I'd call the cops I guess I don't know but if I was her I don't know if I would be like I'm gonna grab all my stuff and just like abandon my life and just like live with you now and he was like he was like you don't have to do this I'll give you like all this cash and he handed her like a huge bag of wads of money and she was like oh my god and I'm like do you want this relationship that badly like they talked and they like you know did the deed like a couple times but like they barely knew each other and I'm like you're gonna run away and start your whole life over with this guy because now they're on the run for you and now he's like forever like being you're gonna be with him forever or whatever and now they're just in the car and they're driving somewhere and they're trying to get out of town or whatever and that they're at they're at a hotel and then they spent the night and I think that's kind of where I left off I'm still at the beginning of it but apparently it's a series um and yeah I kind of like it but she's sort of like a dom sometimes and I don't really like that I like it when it's more like the guy doing the dom stuff but you know um it's just part of the story whatever she's being all cocky and confident and stuff and he's just being slick and smirky and stuff like that but yeah it's a good book I like it so far I I like that it's not been like no nonsense like it just like gives me what I want and doesn't waste my time with anything else and gives me the important details about what's happening and you know it's a little confusing at the beginning when he explains everything and he's like yeah all these people are after me and turns out the people that you work for at the tavern are not actually are actually people run by the government who who hate me and they hate you and they're gonna come after you and they're gonna try to kill you and then she's like what if I refuse and he's like I'll give you all this money and then he's like and she's like okay and then she goes and packs all her stuff up and now she's just on the run with him everywhere and I don't know she's like where are we going and he's like I'm not sure and I'm like where could you go and he's like I have stuff overseas and I'm like how much shit you been up to boy and she's like (laughs) <laughs> she's all like jokey she's like eh, I've always wanted to go to France or whatever and I'm like you serious and I was like your whole life is on the line right now and you're I mean props to her for being able to be like I can make a joke out of this it's funny but like yeah you know imagine just not giving up your whole life your whole life you were doing like she was in college she had two jobs she was like gonna become a doctor and now all of a sudden that's all thrown away because she has gotten attached to this guy that she loves and he said it first he he said it first he said in a call 
he said I love you and she didn't even say that back she didn't even say it back the first time because he ended the call before she could and she was like why did he say he loved me are we are we at that stage right now are we are we at that stage right now I don't know so yeah it's just it's just weird like how fast they fall in love with each other so yeah that's uh that's my thoughts about it but apparently it's a series on Yeah, it's apparently there's more books after this one. So, yeah. Um, what else have I been up to? Uh, what time is twelve twenty seven? Okay. Um, well, I'm happy with my Ren Ryuji figure. I'm glad that it came out well, and I got it set on my shelf, and it's just chilling there. Hopefully, it doesn't fall down in the middle of the night and scare me awake. That would suck, but man, when I take my dog out, when I take Luna out, she just, she barks so much. I can't tell if she's being dramatic or if she's really scared because she just keeps barking and barking. And the only way we can get a leash on her is if my mom puts it on her. And so I, I just sit there and I put my stuff on and I get ready to go outside. And then I, my mom puts the, I get my mom up because she's usually sleeping. She's probably sleeping right now. And I just say, hey, mom, Luna needs to go out. You need to put the leash on. And she's like, okay. And she sits there for a while trying to wake up. And then she'll put the leash on Luna and hand it to me. And then I'll go outside. And then Luna will stop barking. And she'll just hang out with me. And then she'll just go potty and do her thing. And then I'll bring her back and she'll be fine. But other times she'll walk I'll literally walk by her and my mom. And she'll just start barking at me for, like, no reason. And I'm like, she's either a drama queen or she's either really scared because she just won't stop barking and we don't know what to do about it. We don't know how to stop it. We don't know how to make her not scared. We don't know how to make her not bark. We try to calm her down. We try to give her meds that help with calming anxiety and fear and stuff, but she just barks, barks, barks. And it's just difficult we don't you know we don't like that the way things are right now with her we want things to be better but it's just really hard because nobody none of us knows what to do we i i don't know i don't know how to how to make her stop or how to train her that she won't do this or whatever but it's, she's been around us so much that i think that she, at this point she'd be like pretty used to us like she's used to me taking her outside and she'll go potty and go poop fine it's not like she's scared of me when I whenever I take her outside it's just the first time whenever she's the first part when I do the first part it's always just like because she's so afraid for some reason and she's barking and it's just weird we don't know why she's doing it we don't know why it's happening but it is and we just can't seem to get it under control so yeah um i think i'm gonna end the stream here i need to get ready get exercise and um get get going for the day but 
yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope this stream turned out better than the last stream. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do next time. Maybe I'll... Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I was thinking about coming back and streaming um, at 2 after I get Luna out and hopefully after I've done my exercise. So that way I can just come back and be like, hey, we're going to do the Nikkei Daily Rewards. And then I'll just do that stream and then we'll hang out for a while and do that sort of thing. But yeah. Um, I, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, um, keep you updated about what I think about that. But yeah, um, thank you for joining me and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.